Big thanks to Kamada Joe for sponsoring this episode. I'm going to show you how you can make the most delicious winter barbecue ribs you ever had. It all starts with a good rack of ribs, and this is Dutch heritage pork. Locally grown and beautifully marred with a lot of intramuscular fat, and fat means flavor. Now in itself, pork doesn't remind me specifically about winter, but that's all gonna change once we start adding flavor to it. I'm thinking about orange, I'm thinking about cinnamon, I'm thinking about all the good things winter flavors have to offer. I'm thinking about the whole winter sports vibe, snow's falling, you are had a day of skiing, you're drinking a glass of glue wine, and these ribs need to go with that. That's why I'm choosing these flavors as the base for my beautiful recipe. The first step is to remove the membrane from the back of the ribs. Next, we're gonna inspect the front of the ribs, and you can see that we have a beautiful part of the loin sitting on top. A lot of fat and a lot of meat. Now let's make a rub to go with these ribs. Orange is going to be the main theme for these ribs. That's why I'm going to take the zest of three whole oranges. To the zest of the oranges, I'm going to add some salt flakes. The ratio is one to one. These are pyramid salt flakes and have a really light texture. And of course, I want some fresh ground smoked white peña pepper. I'm only going to need one eighth part of it. Now it's time to add the best combination to orange for that winter flavor. I'm talking about cinnamon. I'm grinding down a whole stick of cinnamon. And when you grind down that cinnamon yourself, you instantly get the orange flavors that's already packed within. And then all I need to do to finish this rub off is grind down 15 cloves. And that's going to give this rub a warm and depth feeling to it. I'm gonna mix that all up and put it on my rack of ribs. I'm gonna make sure I get it everywhere because this stuff is amazing. This is the Kamado Joe Kettle Joe and I filled it up with charcoal and lit it up. Then I'm gonna put in a big chunk of beech tree. Put the slow roller on and close the lid. Now I'm gonna use my bottom and top vent to dial in on the right temperature. And I'm looking for a temperature of 140 degrees Celsius. I'm setting the top vent to around two fingers open so I have the maximum amount of airflow without getting too high of a temperature. I'm dialing down the bottom vent to one finger open to make sure that I limit the airflow enough to reach that 140 degrees Celsius. Now I got my Kamado jaw all ready, I'm gonna put on my ribs. Of course, I'm not gonna make just a simple ribs. I'm gonna take these ribs to the next level. I'm gonna make a spray. I'm starting with making my own fresh orange juice. And let's be real, fresh, fresh orange juice is way better than the stuff that comes from a pack. I'm not stopping there. I'm also adding whiskey, Jack Daniels Fire Tennessee. It has cinnamon flavors and it gives our spray a warm, glowy feeling. Now our spray is done, and that's how easy it is to make a delicious spray. If you want to find the recipe, go to our website. When your ribs are on for about half an hour and they start to develop a color just like this, you know it's a good time to start spraying. By spraying your ribs, you're going to make sure that they stay nice and moist and at the same time you add flavor. I'm going to repeat this process every 30 minutes or when my ribs start to turn dry. Now we have two layers of flavor. We got our rub and we got our spray. But I'm not gonna quit while I'm ahead. I'm gonna put on a third layer of flavor. I'm talking about barbecue sauce. First ingredients is gonna be 100 milliliters of orange juice. Then I'm gonna add 100 milliliters of honey, two tablespoons of ketchup, one tablespoon of mustard, a teaspoon of Worcester sauce, a teaspoon of Tabasco, two slices of fresh ginger, and a stick of cinnamon. Now I'm gonna bring this to the boil and I'm going to let the flavors blend together. The flavors are coming together nicely. We just don't have the thickness that I'm looking for in the barbecue sauce. So I'm gonna reduce it by half. But before I'm gonna do that, I'm going to add rum first. This is about 50 milliliters and it's going to give us that final push for that winter glow feeling. Our sauce is done and it's time to take a look at our ribs. I sprayed them for four times and I've got the color that I'm looking for. We got that smoke color and we got the build up flavor from the spray. Now it's time to add that third layer of flavor. We combined the sauce and the ribs in aluminum foil and wrapped it up. This ensures that our ribs stay nice and juicy while they become tender cooking on the Kamada Joe. I cooked these ribs for another hour and now it's time to open up this package. A lot of juices. 
<laughs> These ribs look amazing and there's a lot of effort that you need to undertake to get them looking like this. We created that homemade rub with that fresh orange zest. We smoked the ribs with beech wood to give them that European style flavor. And then we created a Christmas style spray with orange juice and Tennessee Fire Jack Daniels. Just to finish it off with a barbecue sauce. The barbecue sauce was the crown. So unique that it's never been made like this before. Honey, orange juice, cinnamon. And now we're gonna give them that real Christmas look, Bob Ross style. We're gonna paint a beautiful picture and then slice into them. These ribs look insane. Look, we got a beautiful smoke ring. We got that juiciness. These ribs, man, they look good. We got stickiness on the outside. Let's bite into it. Mm. Mm. That's amazing. That is insane. We did lemon ribs in the past and that's amazing for the summer, but this is amazing for the winter. It's like, it comes together so well. Cinnamon and orange. That's the way to go in the winter. This is a real recommendation. You should make this. This is insane. This has Christmas written all over it. Seriously. Good ribs. I got nothing to complain about. This is good stuff. Fits the season. Fantastic. Mm. It's, it's sweet. It's wintry. I don't know if that's even a word, but I'm gonna, gonna go for it and mm, man, that orange, that orange is insane. Are you gonna make these again in the winter? Absolutely. I'm gonna make these during my Christmas holiday. These are awesome. Mm -hmm. They got everything in it. I am so happy I put a little mm. bit of heat in it yeah. because I really enjoy the mm. heat with the orange. Yeah. That's really awesome. Hey man, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, then you know what to do, right? Mm -hmm. Thumbs up, comment down below. Big mm -hmm. thank you to the patrons, big thank you to the YouTube members. See you guys next time. Until then, eat smakelijk. And keep on smoking ribs. Mm. That's right. Mm. 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 For this amazing recipe, they can go to the website, right? Mm -hmm. the link is down below, I think. Mm -hmm. I'm going to suck that sauce off the bone. I'm going to suck the whole meat off the bone. <laughs>